Hey GC, I'm Morgan Hubney here with Adam Paragon. Ho, ho, ho. Today, FBLA will be selling treats from the trolley for just one dollar. Treats include brownies, cupcakes, cookies, and cake pops. Treats will be available to all students in the Commons after school. All proceeds will go towards their London, Paris, and Rome trip. Agape Club members who plan on caroling at Morningside tomorrow need to meet here at the high school at 145. Final applications for GSP are due on Monday, January 5th. GCHS Archery is selling chances for a set of cornhole boards, raffling chances $1 each or 6 for $5. Drawings will be during the Grays County Holiday Tournament December 20th at 3 o'clock. You do not have to be present to win. For your chance to win, contact an archery team member or Melissa Jamison at graves.kyschools.us. Any girl interested in trying out for softball in February needs to attend conditioning on Mondays and Wednesdays. <laughs> conditioning will start on Wednesday, January 7th from 3.30 to 5.15 each day. Please meet in the Commons on the first day. Relay for Life will be hosting a Bowling for a Cure tournament Thursday, January 1st at 1 p.m. at Spare Time Lanes in Mayfield. A prize payout will be featured in the tournament with $1,000 for the winner. There will be a three-game qualifier for participants with the top one in six moving on to a seated single elimination bracket. A prize of $150 will also go to the bowler with the first 300 score game of the tournament. Tournament organizers Glenn White and Caleb Speed have a set limit of 90 entries. Early registration fee is $75 per participant. During the break we ask what's your favorite holiday food? And Madison Sullivan has your sports action. Hey GC, good luck to our bowling team as they will travel to Louisville tomorrow to compete in the Louisville Ken Bowl Tournament. Good luck to our archery team as they will host the Graves Holiday Tournament tomorrow. Our Eagle basketball teams had some impressive wins last night without their leading scorers. First, our Lady Eagle basketball team traveled to Callaway Hardwood Classic to face off against undefeated Gibson County. The Lady Pioneers were 13-0 heading into last night's matchup. And the Lady Eagles were without Bailey Hawkins, Senior Alyssa Bernard had 15 points and 9 rebounds. And GCTV's own Gracie Martin had 12 points as our Lady Eagles topped Gibson County 49-43. Good win, ladies. They will be back in action tonight in the same tournament as they face Douglas, Tennessee. Tip-off is set for 8 o'clock. If they win tonight, they will compete again at Callaway Monday. During this long Christmas break, they will compete in the Queen of Palms tournament at Fort Myers, Florida. Our Eagle basketball team hosted district rival Ballard last night for their first district matchup of the year. Andrew Smith was unable to play due to a knee injury, but our Eagles stepped up without him as Eamon Hannon, Christian Goff, and Hunter Grant scored in double figures, and the Eagles beat the Bombers 66-50. Goff led the way with 15 points, and Hannon had 14 along with 8 rebounds. Over the break, the Eagles will host the Eagles Holiday Classic at the Eagles Nest. They will play Franklin Simpson Monday, then Martha Lane Collins in Muhlenberg County on Tuesday. Then after Christmas, they will travel to Martin, Tennessee to compete in the Martin Lions Club Christmas Tournament. Before we get back from break, both the Eagles and Lady Eagles will host Paducah Tillman on Saturday, January 3rd in a doubleheader region matchup. For GCTV Sports, I'm Madison Sullivan, and have a great Christmas break. What kind of Christmas candy? Andes, those little peppermint things. I like candy canes. What's your favorite kind of Christmas candy? The little Reese's Christmas tree ones. What's your favorite kind of Christmas treat? Whoopie pies. What's your favorite kind of Christmas treat? I like candy canes. What's your favorite kind of Christmas treat? Cookies. Hey GC. 
Today's forecast will be mostly cloudy with a high of 41 and a low of 31. Saturday will be partly cloudy with a high of 45 and a low of 30. And Sunday will be mostly sunny with a high of 51 and a low of 42. Have a great Christmas break. In need of community service hours? Volunteer for Stuff the Bus and collect Christmas gifts for less fortunate children in the Mayfield and Graves County areas. Donation centers will be at both Walmart entrances on Sundays during the holiday. See Ms. Horn or Ms. Colley in the Youth Service Center for details. Seniors, please check with your parents regarding senior salute information. The deadline is today. None will be taken after today. Well, that's all we have for today, guys. For GCTV, I'm Morgan Hubney. And I'm Adam Pagan. Have a great Christmas break. And happy, happy holidays, holidays, GC.